जय हिंद फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज धर्मेश जोशी वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट महर्षि दयानंद सरस्वती वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट सेंट एंड सोशल रिफॉर्मर ही वाज क्रिटिस्ट ऑफ सुपरस्टिशंस एंड द पॉपुलर बिलीफ ऑफ द कंटेम्प्रेरी टाइम ही वाज आल्सो पार्टिसिपेंट इन इंडियन फ्रीडम स्ट्रगल इन द ईयर ऑफ एटीन ही फर्स्ट गेव द आइडिया ऑफ swaraj and later bal gangadhar tilak incorporated with it and gave the popular slogan swaraj is my birthright and i shall have it he and his popular work satyarth prakash became a moral force for many revolutionaries like shyam ji krishna verma who established india house in london to help indian students and revolutionaries and others like subhash chandra bose राम प्रसाद बिस्मिल बाल गंगाधर तिलक मैडम कामा मदन लाल ढींगरा वीर सावरकर एंड मैनी अदर्स हिज फॉलोवर्स इस्टेब्लिश डी ए वी स्कूल एंड कॉलेजेस विच इज दयानंद एंग्लो वैदिक स्कूल द फर्स्ट वन वॉज इस्टेब्लिश इन लाहौर इन एटीन एटी सिक्स एंड शहीद भगत सिंह वॉज एजुकेटेड इन डी ए वी लाहौर एंड वी कैन clearly see the effect of liberal thoughts of maharshi dayanand saraswati and arya samaj on the philosophical thinkings of bhagat singh maharshi dayanand saraswati was born on the 12th of february 1824 in the tankara village of gujarat his father name was karshan ji and mother was yashoda bai his childhood name was mool shankar his primary education was done by his father and later he was also educated by his family teacher as he was from a orthodox brahman family then most of the part of his education was uh, about reading spiritual scriptures later he show his interest in ascetic life and he said his mother that he want to know the ultimate truth and he want to go in search of that knowing this his father decided to marry him and meanwhile marshid and saraswati left his home silently and he went and so this how he departed from the how from his home to satisfy his thirst of knowledge he first go to vindhyachal then from there he went to himalayas in search of our true teacher who can satisfy his thirst of knowledge M- meanwhile he met with a saint named swami punyanand ji who gave him diksha and the name swami dayanand saraswati and later somebody told him that in mathura there is a old teacher who can only satisfy you with logics and he then he got known about virjanand ji in mathura then he went mathura and requested virjanand ji to accept him as a student virjanand ji accepted him but he was a very strict teacher maharshi dayanand stayed there and completed his education in 3 years and now he got answers of the all the question which he had in his mind while from departing while departing from the ashram he asked for guru dakshina he gave his guru a bowl of berries by seeing that by seeing that guru virjanand ji got disappointed and asked to Narshi Dayanand that I am not keen to take anything from you I just want from you that see the pathetic situation of the nation see the how a nation is hatched in cycles of slavery how deprived the situation of the women and how upper class are doing atrocities on the lower classes how fragmented the society is and there is a total need of revival of society 
there is everywhere superstitions and the true sanatan has been not in his re real form and there is total superstitions over there and he draw his attention in the all social evils and here we can get the uh, big picture because there is a there is a very popular story that once when Swami Dhanan Saraswati was 14 years old uh, a rat was jumping on the shivling and by watching this he got against the idol worship and he started the social revival movement uh, later verse but I want to give a big picture because he was from a orthodox Brahman family and uh, I want to give a proof from the Bhagavad Gita I have a copy of Bhagavad Gita here the chapter number 5 and the shloka number 18 here is written that Vidya Vinaya Sampane Brahmane Gavi Hastini Shuni Cheva Sopakecha Panditaha Samadarshina means that a true learned man with the eyes of wisdom see a Brahmin, a cow, a elephant, a dog and a person who eats dog equally so I don't think by reading this and I'm sure that Marshi Yan and Sarvati had also read that because he was from a Brahmin family and by what by reciting this shloka I feel that Lord Shiva has no problem with the rat so the big picture is this that he that is not a reason this is a this is just a story and the big picture is this that after watching the contemporary time we can see that in the year of 1819 Britishers occupied Gujarat and there is a time of industrial revolution and the British had destroyed all the industries and we can easily uh, that and and we know that that Gujarat is a state where from the ancient times there is a house of it, many industries so and the other reasons are the caste system which was fragmented the society and there is a no common force who can oppose the Britishers so these this is a big picture that why he started a social revival movement that that was not just a mere story of the rat that he jumped on the shivling and that is why he started opposing the idol worship so by watching the contemporary time we can get a big picture of it later after getting order from his guru he started the social revival moment and he started walk through the nation he walk, he went to many religious places and he established supremacy of vedas over all other scriptures in hinduism he went to kashi and he defeated all the pandits in the debate and he there also established the supremacy of Vedas and here he gave the popular slogan of go back to the Vedas in the year of 1875 he established Arya Samaj in Bombay when he went to Bombay he established Arya Samaj first there establishment of Arya Samaj we can see it as an attempt to bridge the social discrimination between the upper class and the depressed class he also worked for the upliftment of women he founded many Nari Nikitans and he, and he encouraged people for widow remarriage and after that he walked throughout the nation to bring the social revival movement in the whole nation he went to Punjab and wherever he went there uh, there were uh, thousands of followers who followed him L then he went to Rajputana in Rajputana he was invited by Maharaja of Jodhpur when he went to Jodhpur he saw that the Raja was not doing his duty towards uh, which which he has towards his countrymen but he was indulged indulged in a 
aesthetic life and he was very much influenced by a court dancer by watching this Jayan and Saraswati got very much disappointed and he drew the attention of Raja towards his duty and asked him that your first duty is towards your people and not in indul indulging in the aesthetic life because of this the court dancer became a rival of him then she accompanied with the cook of Rashi Jayan and Saraswati poisoned him and he was passed he was passed away on 13th of october 1883 on the day of diwali so this is all about today's video here we saw that how mahesh dayan and saraswati participated in india's india's reform movement and as well as in the india's freedom struggle Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, then hit the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much. Jai Hind.